uh, are fine with uh, government. But uh, for this year, we already implemented uh, several petitions as explained. Uh, we opened uh, a segmented upper link in March, so that was also the subject of a tolerate uh, petition. And then we opened the C5 uh, link uh, last July 22, and uh, it was also uh, part of a petition for Cavitex, as well as the enhancements done for the Cavitex portion, where we added one lane, one traffic lane, for a total of about, uh, I think, eight uh, lane kilometers. So that was also a petition that was approved by the top regulatory board. We do not foresee any any adjustment or increase for the rest of the year. So when it comes to this and the effort in uh, strengthening ties to achieve the success of this project? Uh, I, I guess to answer that question, uh, the mere presence here today of the executive director of the Toll Regulatory Board, uh, as well as one of the directors in the person of uh, Director Ray Cunha over there, is already a show of support to, to this program. We have been running this program for the last 10 years, and all of those uh, 10 years, uh, TRB as well as DOTR, uh, have been uh, fully supportive of this project. And then, said that a while ago, uh, we have done uh, advanced works for our uh, connector road. Uh, we've been doing this in the uh, Kaloha Interchange. And we are about to award uh, section one of, of the eight kilometer uh, connector road. The first five kilometer, we're awarding it uh, this month. Uh, and our target uh, uh, Completion date for for both section one and section two is uh, middle of uh, 2021. Uh, we are still uh, on target as far as uh, completing it within the ministry, within this administration. So hopefully uh, we will be able to to secure the necessary right of way. Uh, this is something that we are closely uh, coordinating with with the DBH in order for us to. to Still uh, within 2021. Thank you so much for the update, sir.